What's up guys? So today I'm gonna show you how to replace the whole LCD assembly. I'm not soldering anything, it's already been done for me, but I'm just gonna show you how to put it on and disconnecting the battery also because I'm about to do that right now. So this is the replacement screen. Um, as you can see, the glass from the old screen is still around there. I gotta take all that off. And I actually bought new glue to put around it. I'm gonna leave a link in the description on where I bought everything. I think it costed about 350 or 370 maybe. I'm not really too sure. I don't remember how much it was. Um, but first, you got to start with taking off this middle section. It's held on by six Phillips screws. So I'm using the smallest one in the uh, iFixit kit. If your screen is still on, you have to heat it up and pry around it. It's not too difficult to do. The screen was pretty much gone. The LCD was ruined on it anyways, so there's no fixing that screen. So I already took out one screw, the second one. And I like to lay these, the order that I took them out and put the parts by them too. Because some of these screws, I'm not sure on this one if um, they're all the same size or not. I know sometimes they're different sizes, so instead of mixing them up and ruining this uh, iPad Pro, I'm gonna leave them all in the same spot, pry up on this. There you go. Uh, make sure you put this back in the same spot that you took it out of. And what I mean by that, as you can see, there's different spots for the different components. So the square has to match back up with the square right there. Next up is uh, to disconnect the battery. It's right here. There's looks like there's a Phillips that holds it. So you actually can't really disconnect the battery. What you have to do is throw a, a pick in there or something so it doesn't make content. Um, but I already checked it. There's no power anymore to the iPad. So I can go ahead and disconnect the screen now. This is the tape I'm going to be using. It's thin enough and this is what I was recommended. So this is the old screen. So we have to get off of this the uh, home button and I believe that's it. It looks like right here we got two Phillips screws. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these out. So disconnecting the uh, home button was actually really simple. So there's a tab on the LCD. There's a tab right here on the LCD and uh, you just gotta flip this up and there's a piece of tape right there that I peeled off. Once you peel that off, uh, you can slide it out. You can slide it out and then the rest is just glue. This piece sits on top of the home button. So pry this off too. And we're gonna reuse these on the new LCD. All right, so we're gonna start with the home button. So once that's on, we're gonna, it's already open and we're just gonna try to Slide this in so it makes contact. All right, I closed it. It's all good now. All right, so I actually messed up. This piece is supposed to slide underneath here, so I'm gonna see if I can pick it up. That looks good. The home button's actually clicking, so that's a good sign. All right, so this is pretty much ready to go to assemble onto the screen or onto the body of the iPad. All right, so next up, we're gonna put the two screws in that go right there. These are the black ones. I'm gonna put this to the side and now we get to clean off all of the old glass. So this should come off pretty easy. Okay, so I removed all the glass that was on the sides. As you can see, this was all the glass and it was actually super thick. So what I ended up doing was I heated it up with my heat gun that I have over here. And I got most of the glue off. I'm gonna heat it up one more time and just go over it again, just to be safe. And I gotta clean all this glass out that's inside of here too, because if any of this gets on the new LCD, it could possibly crack it. I'm not sure how the new screen's gonna fit though, because it is a little bent right here from the drop, but I guess we'll see here in a minute. And once I get all this cleaned out, I'm gonna lay the new tape down. All right, so I already laid down all the tape, it's all around it. So now it's time to put the screen back on and put everything back together. But I just wanted to show you guys that after replacing the screen, it does work. One button works. Everything works. There's the whole screen. It looks good. The true color and all that does work with this replacement screen. Uh, so if I scroll down to display and brightness, uh, you can switch it to dark. It works. Light works. True tone isn't grayed out. I don't know if this is for only iPhones, but I heard with the newer ones that the true tone 
uh, won't work. And if this is true for the iPads, also it does work through this company that I wrote the screen for. So uh, the link's in the description down below. It's a great replacement. Can't even tell that it's been replaced. As you can see, I don't know if it's gonna focus, but it's sealed in there good. It's not coming out. And yeah, I never had the uh, iPad Pro. This is the second generation 12.9. I'm probably going to use it for a little bit. I'm not sure if I'm keeping it or not. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button so you guys can get notified when I post videos. Like I said, I'm going to be making videos like this and then also on my car. And I'll see you guys in the next video.